Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Wednesday, December 5th. I'm Hannah Shirey. And I'm Sierra Gimbals. Two students competed in the four-way speech contest. We have the results. And yesterday was National Cookie Day. We'll be right back with all this and your school news. class news, juniors and seniors, the Temple Summer Academy is a four-week pre-college program to take college classes, explore potential majors, and experience campus life. You will earn a $4,000 tuition grant if you attend Temple after high school. For more information, stop in the counseling office. Temple also offers a two-week non-credit pre-college program. Winter weather is here and the fifth annual Hack Lebanon Hats, Gloves, and Mittens Drive is collecting new or used hats, gloves, or mittens for Lebanon County residents in need. Drop them off with Mrs. Snyder in room 415, Mrs. Marzox in room 208, or the counseling office with Mrs. Knight. All donations will be given to Lebanon County residents in need. Seniors, suborders, and money are due on December 12th to Dr. Zaria in room 108. In club news, FPLA members are reminded to bring in donations of individual chip bags and cans of soda for the Avedum lock-in this Friday. All proceeds from the FBLA stand at the lock-in will be donated to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Members making donations will receive outstanding member points. All National Honor Society members, if you know that you will miss the activity period meeting today, see Mrs. Zaki in room 314 so you can vote and get important papers before activity period. The 2019 Minifelon is looking for a design for this year's event. See one of the art teachers or Mrs. Boger for a paper with all details and design restrictions. The theme is space. Life to kick cancer out of this world. Designs are due by 2.30 on Tuesday, December 18th. Also, any Avedum Club members, pick up your t-shirts in room 806 by today and through Friday. Hannah Shirey and Karen Charleston competed in the Rotary four-way speech contest. They had to deliver a memorized eight-minute speech about a current topic. We competed against 16 competitors from area schools. Karen Charleston won first place and will compete in regionals in April for prize money from $250 to $1,500. Here is an excerpt from their speech. Far too many teens are being introduced to the Jewel. So who exactly is introducing these teens to Jeweling? Well, that would be no other than their high school friends. The use of e-cigarettes now more than ever has become a social norm and it's creating divisions among student bodies. Civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr. once said, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. The validity of All Lives Matter has failed the Rotary Test because it poses a threat to justice. This counter movement depreciates the life of black people, which indirectly affects the state of all minority groups across the globe. First place in our mid-level contest is given to Karen Charleston. The Avedum Lock-In will be held on Friday from 2.30 to 7 p.m. There will be movies, tournaments, including Spikeball and Foursquare, as well as amazing prizes including a Series 4 Apple Watch, a laptop, a 32-inch Smart TV, and much, much more. The prizes will be handed out at 4 p.m., so even those going to the basketball game can stay for the lock-in and participate. We'll have Avedum Advisor Mrs. Opeska in the studio tomorrow to talk about the event. In the spirit of the season, the school community is hosting a winter blanket drive. These blankets will be given to Church World Services, a nonprofit organization in Lancaster that assists Puerto Rican evacuees and refugees from 27 different countries. Since they arrive in America with only the clothes on their back, they are, desperate in, they are in desperate need of warm blankets. Donation boxes will be found in the library, main office, and guidance office today through Friday this week. Please consider joining in this effort to help make the new neighbors feel warmly welcomed into their new home. New job postings are up on the Jobs Available Board located under the skylight in the 100 hallway. New listings include car washing at Ebersol's Honda and kitchen help at Spaincrest. As many may know, this is the last year for our weatherman, Kyle Nazarchuk. BV2 correspondent Cobain Dundor asked him about his future plans. Cobain was only able to interview Kyle before the show at the green screen. No, because it's relatively close. There is a lot of things that I could photograph to continue to practice as a photographer, and it has one of the best meteorology programs in the region. Um, Millersville has this little um, natural pre reserve that is just a little lake 
with an island in it, and there are two swans. There is one that's named Miller, and there's one that's named Seville. How you tell the difference is Miller's always on the left, Seville's always on the right, Millersville. I chose the two majors because um, I've been fascinated with weather ever since um, Tropical Storm Irene back in two, 2011 and Hurricane Sa or Superstorm Sandy in 2012. In photography, it's mostly because I started to photograph the athletic events here at Sierra Crest and it's just cotton, or it's just attached to me like a virus. And now I'm taking pictures of everything. Kyle will really be with missed as our weatherman. Yesterday was National Cookie Day. OnePoll.com found that the average American eats almost 19,000 cookies in a lifetime. Whoa, that's a lot of cookies. Some reported eating more than 10 cookies per week. Correspondent Josh Jones asked some of our fellow Falcons what their favorite cookie is. My favorite cookie has to be chocolate chip because I like chocolate. Also, I don't really eat that many types of cookies, you know? Uh, my favorite cookie's gotta be chocolate chip. It just tastes good. Okay, it's a snickerdoodle because, I don't know, it's really good. And it, like, tastes good. My favorite cookie is chocolate chip because I think chocolate's a food group. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of chocolate chip. You know, I'm a big fan of chips and I really like chocolate, so when we put them together, they're pretty, yeah, good. pretty good. But too much chocolate, that's a no-go. Yeah, cookie to chocolate ratio has to be on point. Perfection. I'm hip. Perfection. I'm hip. Has to be perfection. Yeah, yeah I actually can't. How about these guys? Perfection. Yeah. I Whatever actually, I'm allergic to cookies. Fun fact. <laughs> nice. Looks like the answers match the OnePoll.com results showing chocolate chip as the favorite cookie, followed by peanut butter, Oreos, and sugar cookies. So Hannah, what's your favorite type of cookie? You know, I really like a lot of cookies, but the ones with the M&Ms in it, those just really hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Sierra Gunnels. And I'm Hannah Shirey. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.